Alright. I don't like to come online and talk down to anyone. I don't want anyone doing it to me, so why would I do it to anyone else? But I need to express my opinion on what happened on SmackDown Live last night. And hopefully this doesn't come across as too harsh. I'm trying to be as friendly as possible to the WWE. But why did you have Charlotte take the title off of Asuka? I can honestly say, because I didn't see the match itself. I turned SmackDown on after the match had ended. But I can honestly say that if I would have seen it, then last night you would have made history again by having me tone off a WWE program out of anger for the first time ever. You did not need to sacrifice Oscar to Charlotte Flair again. What was the point of it? Just because Charlotte's name is Flair and you have to give a big moment after big moment so that whole name and the name of Flair can reach and be heard around the heavens a hundred times, a thousand times, a million times over? Is that why she's already gotten so many big moments in the full, count them, full years since she debuted? She's already had multiple title ones. And I don't mean two or three. I believe it's over four title ones you've given her. I think I've even heard some people say you've given her eight title ones. I haven't been keeping count, but I know. That is either four or more in the time span of four years since she debuted. You've given her so many big moments. Why couldn't you have let someone else bask in the sun for once? And I'm not just saying this because I'm an Oscar fanboy. I'm not just saying this for the sake of Oscar. I'm saying this for the sake of the women's division in your company on both brands. Because God forbid what happens if something happens to Charlotte? What happens if she gets injured like Paige? What happens if she gets sick like Roman did? Oh, what happens if she just has a falling out with your company? What if she decides that she is mad at you, she hates you, and she's going to leave and probably ultimately smite you by going to AEW, or TNA, or New Japan, or Wing of Honor, or House of Glory, or any other wrestling promotion around the globe just to get back at you? Who are you going to turn to then? The only other name that you have that is big and is credible is Wanda Rousey. And she is more than likely leaving after WrestleMania, 12 days away, I think 11 at this point, to start a family for the next year or year and a half and two years. Who else are you going to turn to then? Becky Lynch? Ask the internet wrestling community and their thousands and hundreds of thousands and heck even millions of fans who listen to them and will believe and, and agree with a lot of the stuff they say. One of the things of which they've said is that Becky Lynch and her one for the WrestleMania main event has not been the best because of how you have booked her. So what if this isn't enough with what you're doing with Becky? What if she falls into obscurity later this year? Who are you going to turn to then? You have nobody else. If Charlotte leaves for whatever reason and Wanda's not here, who else? 
you're gonna have to start back from square one and it's obvious you don't want to start from scratch otherwise Oscar would be waking up this morning as the Smackdown Live women's champion and you can't tell me that you've given her big moment you can't tell me that she's had multiple big moments the only big moment that she really had was when she won the Royal Wumble last year and even then you had Wanda come in and debut and take the spotlight off her. Then we went on to WrestleMania 34. You could have made Oscar a household name. You could currently have Oscar's name to fall back on if something happens to Charlotte. Had you just let her, ma her, her streak, her winning streak, stay alive. But you decided to give the name Flair another credential. And Oscar faded into obscurity. Then we get to TLC. When you finally gave Oscar the championship over Becky and Charlotte. But what did you do then? You had it be Wanda who interfered and helped Oscar win the championship. We're supposed to believe that that is a big moment? That Asuka technically cheated to win. That was her big shining moment? That's not a moment. It's not the moment the fans want for the superstars they like. They wanted Asuka to climb that level herself to have defeated Becky and Charlotte, if she was in fact the one you wanted to go with that day, they wanted Oscar to win by beating down Becky and Charlotte herself, climbing the ladder and retrieving the belt herself. But you had Wanda interfere and Oscar's moment was taken away. And now, the whole business with last night. There was no point to it. You need to create more names. And by that I mean you need to take the lesser names you have and turn them into actual names of superstars. And I'm beginning to wonder if that's why you are taking away so many last names of superstars. Is because you believe that there is no name that can compare with Flair, with the exception of McMahon. Because you've said it yourself. In this business, there is no name bigger than McMahon. Yet, it's beginning to seem like you actually want the name Flair to become bigger than McMahon. And I don't want you to start pushing Charlotte to the side because I said that. I just want you to make every name great. Let people make their legacies. Let the names they've chosen for themselves make it big and have big moments. This is why so many of your superstars want to leave for different promotions. is because you've taken their names and tarnished them and thrown them in the trash just so you could benefit the names you want to and everyone no matter what their name is everyone on your roster puts their body 
and their life on the line each and every week so that you can make money you can make ratings so that you can stay famous the least you could do is give them something in return and not do it after waiting and pushing them to the side for years on end until they come and complain to you and say and threaten to leave the company this could all be avoided if you shared the wealth with different names but you don't and it is depressing your talent the people who break their backs for you on a weekly basis it is holding your fan base. Your fan base is dwindling. Look at the ratings. You've admitted the ratings are in the toilet. Yet you're doing the same thing that you've been doing despite promising change at the end of last year. I want you guys to do good. I want everyone on the roster to do good, whether their name be Flair, or McMahon, or Oscar, or Reigns, or anyone else on the roster, Kingston, Brian, good guy, bad guy, male, female. I want everyone to do good, to have their moment, to have their moments. It is possible. Just do it already.